So Stormraven still comes all the way apart. Don't know if we'll keep it that way. Um, not sure if it helps a ton for transportation. You know, but maybe it'll help a little as far as it being apart. But uh, it's definitely going to help as far as putting together, painting all the parts, and painting the inside. The inside's going to be painted up sweetly. You know, we've got some cool parts in here that actually get painted and go on the inside. That's actually the landing gear. What do we have here? I think this is it. So we got there's these cool inside panels. And um, not just panels, you know, the electronic equipment in there. It's probably pretty hard to see through the baggie, but whatever. Uh, the sensor that goes on the front. Uh, there's a, another electronics panel in there that goes like behind the pa pilot. So there's cool stuff like that, you know. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna paint that stuff for sure. I'm gonna paint all those little things for sure, and maybe we're gonna need to leave the transforming storm right even transforming so that you can see that cool stuff. So you'll be able to get in there and see it. Um, so it comes apart pretty easy, goes together pretty easy. It's pretty sturdy, sturdy, you know. Once you put it all back together and put it on the flying base, so. Not sure any of that's an issue. Uh, got the little tips of the wings are still separate. They're in here, right? They get one of these little guys inside of them. Goes in the tip of the wing. Uh, we got engines. A couple engines there. They'll get painted up, kind of like a, you know, like a tin bits, but a flying, super fast tin bits, something like that. What else is in here? I guess I showed you guys all that. Nothing. That's it, you know. So we put it all back together after we paint it. I got a razor back here also. So you know the Storm Raven is a is a Grey Knight Storm Raven, so it's ended up being silver. Uh, and this razor back is an Inquisitorial razor back technically. I don't know if it has a symbol on it. it does have a symbol? So I got the cool book on the side door there and we got heavy bolter these guys have you know the super cool side bolt ammo uh, it can be a rhino got rhino doors for it also and another little baggie comes apart for now mostly so I can paint the insides probably won't come all apart like that once we're done but you know I uh, got the cool electronics panel that you definitely don't want to see, so probably still come apart. It's also a great place to store all the other little pieces for the Razorback with the Rhino. I don't know, stage three of the Storm Raven, roughly. Got uh, a lot of the marking, you know, base work done, I guess. You know, the stripe on the wing there, um, the multicolor stripe on the front, on the nose, and then down inside the the door there, there's, there's red also. We got the red up the front, so we got the pieces basically, you know, painted, base coated. Um, these two pieces actually in here are finished and they have a little tiny bit of weathering on them which is really nice. Uh, the wing just kind of started working on some of the weathering. The engines have you know the base work of weathering and object source lighting in there. Um, not all the details are painted yet on the fuselage but almost all the details. 
um, have been painted there. And then I got these other little bits down here. You know, I got the Hurricane Bolters, Sponsons. They're ready. They got the same, same exact finish on them as the, as the turret and the other, you know, cockpit section there. Uh, also got doors which aren't finished, but they'll get the same finish as those other pieces. It's just another little coat and some, some weathering effect. Uh, the back door needs some ink and some weathering effect, but it's pretty much done, so it's getting finished with those guys. Uh, the emblems here don't have any highlights, but I'm probably going to put the highlights on after the emblems go on the actual model. Seems to make more sense to me that way. Uh, we got the pilot. He's not finished at all yet, but his cockpit just got ready for him. So once he's in there, once the cockpit's ready and finished, then I'll I'll finish him. He doesn't have a lot of work to do to finish him. And then there'll be you know object source lighting from the panel that ends up on him, on his face and chest and arms. You know. Uh, still got some bits in here. Not a lot though. Got the landing gear, which has been you know bolt gun metal and a little bit of silver. And, uh, you know, it's still in all the little pieces because we're going to make it workable landing gear. And then I got little tiny plastic pieces that go around the cockpit and the turret. And, of course, the clear pieces, which are going to stay clear because I did all sorts of object source lighting. And then uh, here we got the turret, you know. And the turret still comes apart. And I think we'll probably leave it coming apart. Um, not sure if it matters if we glue it or not, but the the actual you know the gun barrels haven't haven't had any work, but the panel inside's all done. So is the so is the guy inside there. It's all complete. So he's got uh, green light on his face and arms and stuff, and the panel you know has green light in there. It's glowing. Uh, so it's pretty much done inside there. You still got to do the gun barrels because they're going to get a little bit of object source lighting on the end pretty sure because of the sidebolt ammo uh... then we got the cockpit here which you know like i said i just started working on the cockpit so it just got like its its ink layer and then it'll get some lighting uh, and then the guy can go inside and then we got the uh... the melt gun which will get some object source lighting uh... and then the actual storm raven comes apart here and i put the engines on since the last video so the engines are on now which makes this a little bit more delicate process of taking it apart so it still comes apart which is really great because uh... at least for now we want to be able to see inside here you know and the whole inside has been painted there's there's bits are painted in there and so is the actual everything it's inked it's pretty much finished. There's still going to be some more ink in there, but that's pretty much it. Uh, and then the actual object source lighting. So this is going to be glowing mostly green and a little blue up in the corner. So it's going to be really cool because there's these instrument panels in there that I took good pictures of. Yeah, we can see them really well there too. So there's an instrument panel on one side of the wall and then on the other side also. So there's going to be green and blue lighting on this side and then really strong green lighting on that side which is going to be really cool um, I also installed some plastic hard you know bulkheads or whatever basically so I have something to magnetize the doors and uh, hurricane sponsons too because there's nothing there I mean you just glue it basically to the very edge of the of the doors there so uh, and the inside will get decorated with lots of purity seals and, you know, death scrolls and arrest warrants, whatever else, I don't know. Um, so there's the Storm Maven. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Check it back again soon. Make sure you check out the blog, shutdownmind.blogspot.com. And if you're not a member of 40K Nation, go become a member of 40K Nation, 40knation.com. Thanks for watching.